How's it going everybody? This is Victor from Empty Road Audio and as you see I have my Surface Pro 4 here and I'm going to show you guys how it is to use Pro Tools with it. Um, the current model I have is the i5 8GB and 256 solid state drive. So um, let's just get into it. Um, in order to use Pro Tools and say you have other licenses like me, you have to get one of these bad boys. As you can see, because I have you know my iLock for Pro Tools and my Waves license for, you know, Waves. And because, you know, it only has one USB port. So we just go plug it in here. And make a little noise. Hopefully it gets happy or whatever. All right, it looks good so far. Um, one thing I would say is that you will need a little app called ISO for All. It basically lets you just use your your, your speakers, your internal I.O. for using Pro Tools. If not, then you would need an, an, an interface. So here it is. It's booting up, as you can see. There it is, ISO for all. And I'm going to open up this session right over here. It is from Dueling Mixes. If you haven't had a chance to check them out, check them out. They're really cool, especially if you want to practice your mixing skills. So here it is, here's the basic session of it, you know. There's all nonsense, you know, kick, snare, whatever, whatever nonsense. So if we just hit play. There you go, see, simple as that. So the one thing I like to do, I haven't used this for a while, is when I, when I begin to mix, open up the mix window and just slide down and then use the little pen we got here to mix the songs itself so so let's see just move this over you know there you go just like that um, you know doing everything so let's see with the vocal like this pen yeah, it's, it's very intuitive to say you're traveling a lot you know you know, it's me you want to do sessions, it's actually pretty nice to do, you know. I'm just gonna mute that. Mute that. Okay. It's actually really intuitive and stuff like that. So let's just stop this real quick. Let me just highlight, you know, like this part right here. I'm gonna loop playback. So to show you some uh, using the plugins. So, which one did I solo again? I think it's called Heart That's the one I highlighted. So let's just raise it up a little more. So now I'm gonna show you how to use plugins. Same thing, just with the pen, you just go here, with the channel, EQ, and then you know whatever. This guy, your bad boy. Okay. And then you could make changes, you know, using the pen. So say I want to raise this guy up and bring him down. I think the Q is here. See, it's actually really, really intuitive to do. Let's see, just you know, doing whatever. It's, it's, I find it a lot easier than using the mouse and the pen, especially when you're traveling and you can't have you know a big control surface with you. It, it works fine. And it's the same thing with, whoops, same thing with dynamics. Like uh, this guy right here. You know, this guy's a gate. I meant to go grab the compressor. My compressor, where are you? Yeah. So see? Same thing, see? Knees, you know, threshold. It's actually pretty, pretty intuitive what you're doing. And it's pretty simple when you when you are on a pin. When you are when you're traveling I travel a lot like me. So the one thing I've noticed though let me stop this. The one thing I've noticed when I do say a waves plugin, so let's do the seventy six. It's not intuitive with the, the controls. So see I'm grabbing on it, it's not making any changes. Here, like if I tap on it, yeah. It doesn't make changes, but in terms of the knobs, it doesn't do anything with it. See, it's just, I don't know, 
I guess in future software update, I guess. I'm not sure. But in terms of actually using, you know, Surface Pro 4, you know, to for Pro Tools, it's actually pretty nice and intuitive. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I mean, I hope you enjoyed this video. It, it's, with the, even with the i5, it holds up to sessions I have in my studio PC. So, um, I can share this, guys, and bye-bye.